Oh, hello, internet fans. Welcome to 3B Video. I'm your host, Rotten Roger DeMarco. And today, we're gonna be talking about my top five horror films from 1987. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying doing these lists for you guys. It seems like every time I do one, you guys are like, ah, but what about this movie? Or what about this movie? And then I'm completely reminded of all these movies that I just absolutely forgot about. So then I take your recommendations and I watch all of those movies and go, man, this year was awesome. But a quick disclaimer, the way that I do these top five films is not by which films performed the best in the box office or which films are even the best technically speaking. The way that I do these lists is just by the amount of fun that I have with each film. So our lists, they're gonna be a little bit different. Is that a problem? Probably not. It should be okay. But I just wanted to let you know, that's how we get down here. So coming in at number five is Tibor Takax, The Gate. Yeah, that's a weird name. I don't believe that's that guy's real name. Is it? Somebody let me know. So if you haven't seen The Gate, you really, really need to do that. This movie's about two kids who accidentally open up a gateway to hell in the backyard. Little tiny demon monster things, levitation, and one dead dog. But this movie is super funny, super metal. It's everything that I've ever wanted. It's a total gateway film for little kids, although there's some stuff in this movie that will scare the fuck out of you. Scare the hell out of them. <laughs> this was a childhood favorite of mine. This is a childhood favorite of evils. I think pretty much everybody who frequents this channel loves this movie. And if you don't know about it, that's why I gotta tell you about it. Go out and see The Gate immediately. I absolutely adore this movie, and that's why it had to make its way into my list. So that's why it was my number five horror film from 1987. Moving on to my number four horror film from 1987 is Jag Mundra's Open House. Fuck yes. I reviewed this a while back. Click here, click there, click somewhere. Watch that review. If you don't know about this movie, that is 100% okay, because not a lot of people do. If you want to watch a crazy homeless guy with a plunger stick covered in razor blades slash the shit out of real estate agents? Yeah, you do. If you want to watch Adrian Barbeau be a sexy real estate lady and have sex by a fireplace? Yeah, you do. You want to watch random S&M sequences? Yeah, you do. I know. Then this movie is right up your alley. I absolutely love this movie. It's a total sleeper slasher film. So if you haven't seen this movie, find a way to do so. It's actually kind of tough to track down, but I think the full movie is on YouTube, or you can probably order a bootleg from some sites, because that's what I did. Shame on me. This is just one of those movies that I felt like was just mine. Nobody else knew about this movie, and I felt a little selfish, so I figured, I should let the world know about this weird little slasher movie that just kind of got swept away. And that's why it had to be my number four horror film from 1987. Moving on to my number three horror film from 1987 is Chuck Russell's Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. Don't wanna dream no more. What can I say about this movie that you don't already know? It's pure metal. Freddy is still scary. It's right at that shift of MTV taking over and TV series and toys and fucking yo-yos and all this shit that they turned Freddy Krueger into. In many fans' eyes, this is the definitive Elm Street movie. You get the kids starting to figure out that they have these powers in their dreams, they work together, they kick Freddy's ass, and almost all of the teenagers are extremely likable. I don't know what else to tell you about this movie. It fucking rocks, arguably one of the best in the franchise. So it had to make this list. And I'm sure some of you are shaking your head going, why wasn't this number one? You fucked up, you fucked up. Like I said, this is my list. So that's why it had to be my number three horror film from 1987. It's just so fucking good that it had to be on this list in one way or the other. But moving on to my number two horror film from 1987, Jack Shoulders, The Hidden. Aw oh, yeah. We spout off about this movie every chance that we get. Do you like Jason Goes to Hell? Don't lie to me. I know you do. Do you like heavy metal? Yep. You do. Do you like fast cars? Yep. You do. Do you like strippers? Uh-huh. This is a super rad, alien, body-hopping, buddy cop, fucking amazing movie that is definitely slept on by way too many people. This is a movie that 
needs eyeballs on it. Evil Remix and I actually consider liking this movie its very own deep cut. So if you're one of the people who knows about this movie, zang. But if you're not, now you do, and now you are. So now you're cool, zang. Watch this movie by any means necessary. Cause it's fucking metal! And that's why it was my number two horror film from 1987. It was close. It was close, goddammit. But it didn't make it. Which means that coming in at number one is Fred Decker's Monster Squad. Was there ever any doubt? Monster Squad, for the win. One of the best horror movies of all time total gateway film for little kids into horror. Fred Decker wasn't able to get the actual rights to the Universal Monsters, so he kind of budged it up a little bit. But it is kids versus Universal Monsters in the 80s, rock and soundtrack, super cool kids, horror movie knowledge. This movie was made for us, by us, absolutely love it. Can't say enough good things about this movie. So if you wanna watch a handful of kids go toe to toe with Universal Monsters, this one's for you. And if you don't, sucks to suck. Just kidding. I absolutely love this movie. Again, can't say enough good things about this movie. I was brought up on this movie, now I'm bringing my kids up on this movie, and I think you should do the same. So those are my top five horror films from 1987. But I suppose I should probably get going, because after all, it's a lot of movies out there, and somebody's gotta watch them. So why not me, right? Rock until you drop. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs>